Hi, this is uh, Scott again. We're looking at the product uh, Rhino Inside Revit, and this is the third in the series. This workflow we're going to look at in this case is how to get Revit geometry into Rhino. It seems like some people are looking to do that to uh, prepare a model for uh, analysis or prepare a model for model making. Uh, where you want basic geometry grabbed out of the more sophisticated Revit model and then do, you know, 3D printing, something like that. And so what I start with here is just the standard everyday Revit sample project. It's a good example. I'm going to go in here and, and uh, start a 3D view of it so we can see what's going on. And as we discussed before, we get our Rhinoceros toolbar running. And let me just start Rhino up here. I have a blank file, which will be a good start. And then I'm going to launch Grasshopper here. And we have a definition, which you can download from the video. And uh, so we'll open that up here. And that example is sample Revit to Rhino. So we'll open this up. And this one takes a little longer because it has a lot more components. It's doing a little bit more with the model. What we did here is we have the category picker. So we have a, a certain category in this case, which are roofs. It's going to go through and it's going to, uh, it's going to grab all the objects out of that category. It's going to convert them to Rhino geometry. And then I've got a fancy baker here that will bake the geometry into Rhino based on the layer. So, or based on the category. So it takes the category name, and then if that category name doesn't exist as a layer in Rhino, it creates it. And uh, the way I, I usually do this is, is I've got a little uh, Boolean here. So when I click on it, what that will do in Rhino is it'll actually create the objects here. And so, you know, so now we have those objects that went and got all the roofs out of Revit, threw them into Rhino. And again, this, this definition is available, so you can just grab it and edit it however you want. Uh, so on, I'm just going to grab all the walls. You can see they got created there. Grab all the doors. So the, all the doors got grabbed out of the model. Let's just jump in and do floors. There we go. And uh, maybe we'll get all the windows. So that took a little longer. Let me grab the uh, curtain walls. So there's all the curtain walls of this, or curtain wall mullions to be specific, I guess. And then if I come down here, I, I think these are the uh, curtain wall panels. Yep, these are the curtain panels. I'll just click on here, and so those get created. And so what we did is just based on the category, went through and grabbed all the objects out of Revit. And uh, so I'll close this, and, and now we have the model here. And you can see that there's the model all layered up properly based on here. So we have roofs, walls, doors, floors, windows. Ready to uh, be edited or, or changed based on, uh, you know, how you're going to use the geometry of the model. So I hope that's a good quick example of how you can uh, grab information out of Revit, throw it into Rhino if you want to use it that way. Next, we'll look at how to use parameters and adjust parameters in Revit. Hopefully this is a workflow that will be helpful to you. Thank you.